In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on April 10, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Oakland Athletics vs. Baltimore Orioles On Monday night, the Oakland Athletics and Baltimore Orioles meet in Game 1 of a four-game series at Camden Yards. The Athletics will start left-hander J.P. Sears while the Orioles counter with Kyle Gibson. Oakland is 3-5 against the spread this season, with a 4-3-1 over-under record. Baltimore is 2-6 against the spread this year, with a 4-4 over-under record. In the first game of this series with the Athletics, the Orioles will roll with Kyle Gibson. He notched the win last Tuesday allowing two runs on six hits and zero walks over seven innings against the Rangers. It was a much better effort than his opening day appearance when he walked four batters and gave up four runs to the Red Sox. The Athletics boast one of the worst defenses in baseball, and Gibson will be able to navigate through it without much pushback. J.P. Sears probably belongs in the bullpen, but the Athletics will give him another crack as a starter, and I expect him to get banged around here. Baltimore has seen a lot of Sears, as he was a member of the Rays last year. Oakland looks like they'll be one of the worst teams in the majors once again this season, and they should be targeted until they show some signs of life. The Orioles played the Yankees very well and represent the stronger team, so with the advantage at the plate and the mound, I like them taking Game 1 comfortably. So the Baltimore Orioles money line is our full game side pick. Baltimore spent the weekend at home against the Yankees, dropping two of the three games. Oakland was no doubt happy to hop a plane out of Tampa, where they were swept by the White Hot Rays. The last two of those were by a score of 11-0. Yikes, what can we expect Monday night? I think Oakland is a really bad offense. In their opening series against the Angels, they scored three total runs in three games. They scored 11, 4, and 4 against Cleveland, and then they ran into the Rays pitching and got blanked twice. Baltimore is certainly not the Tampa staff, but it at least part of this is the Oakland defense. Kyle Gibson will be making his third start for the OS, and while he isn't great, he is serviceable. He yielded only two runs over seven frames at Texas last week. I also think we can risk it on the Baltimore offense. They haven't been overly impressive, and remember that the fences were moved out in Oriole Park, thus making it much more pitcher-friendly. J.P. Sears is not a great pitcher, but as a lefty, he does potentially neutralize a couple of the better Baltimore bats and turn a couple of the switch hitters around to the right, where the home runs are harder to come by. I think there is a decent chance of a low-scoring affair here with Oakland coming off a terrible weekend in Tampa. This is mostly about betting against an inept Oakland offense while hoping Baltimore does doesn't explode in the bottom halves of the innings. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Houston Astros vs. Pittsburgh Pirates The Houston Astros and the Pittsburgh Pirates are squaring off for the opening game of a three-game set on Monday evening inside of PNC Park. The Astros are third in the American League West with a 4-6 so far, and are sending southpaw Framber Valdez to the mound and is coming off a losing effort against the Tigers where he allowed three runs on eight hits with a walk and nine strikeouts over seven innings. The Pirates are second in the National League Central with a 6-3 record and are having righty Rosie Contreras here and is coming off a win against the Red Sox as he threw 5.2 innings and gave up one run on three hits with a walk and two strikeouts. The Astros are 39-17 in their last 56 overall and 129 to 62 in their last 191 in game one of a series. The under is 5 to 1 to 1 in Houston's last seven Monday games. Meanwhile, the Pirates are 4 to 1 in the last five in game one of a series and 21 to 48 in the last 69 interleague games. Pittsburgh is 16 to 38 in the last 54 Monday games. Houston should get a solid appearance out of Valdez in this one. He's coming off a tough loss to Detroit but still posted a nice line. The Astros had some trouble with the Twins over the weekend, but they should be able to handle Pittsburgh in this series. On Sunday, Houston got a nice effort from both sides, producing 11 team hits while giving up just two. That's a promising sign coming into this series. So the Houston Astros' money line is our full game side pick. 
Framber Valdez doesn't give up many runs and even set a record for the most consecutive quality starts in a single season in 2022. Ronzi Contreras has shown that he's a quality starting pitcher through his first 100 big league innings. Behind Contreras is a bullpen that's MLB's best right now. Neither offense is putting up crazy numbers right now, even with a few of the hottest hitters on the planet set to play in this one. I can see both batting orders having a rough night in a tight, low-scoring affair. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Miami Marlins vs. Philadelphia Phillies The Miami Marlins play the first game of a three-game series on the road Monday at Citizens Bank Park against National League East rival the Philadelphia Phillies. Miami was defeated on Saturday by the New York Mets 5-2 and the Marlins have lost two straight leading up to their final game of a three-game series with New York. Philadelphia had a walk-off 3-2 victory on Saturday over the Cincinnati Reds and has won two straight. Miami has six pitchers as well as position players Jacob Stallings and Joey Wendell on its injury list. Philadelphia has four pitchers as well as position players. The Marlins are 9-24 in their last 33 games following a win and 2-5 in their last seven overall. The Phillies are 22-8 in their last 30 home games and 3-9 in their last 12 overall. The under is 9-4-3 in Marlins' last 16 overall. The under is 4-1 in Phillies' last five overall. The Marlins are 3-8 in the last 11 meetings in Philadelphia and 3-10 in the last 13 meetings. Miami took the final game of their series against the Mets on Sunday. The Marlins are not off to a good start and it is the same old story, just not enough offense. OF Jorge Soler seems to have found his power stroke with a few early home runs, but most of this lineup is pretty easy to navigate. Miami was last in runs heading into Sunday action. The Phillies were in the World Series last season, but they lost the first four games of the season. They have followed that with a 5-3 run, but with OF Bryce Harper and 1B Reese Hoskins out there is more pressure on the pitching and so far it has struggled. Starter Aaron Nolan has especially been hit hard. Sandy Alcantara was brilliant in his last start, a complete game shutout of the Twins. He is the rare pitcher that you can back in pretty much any situation, against any lineup. You just have to hope he gets some offense and support. Meanwhile, lefty Matt Strom is getting the start for the Phillies. He has one start and one relief appearance so far, so he is hard guy to count on just yet. Even if he is pitching well, we might not see much of him. Whenever Alcantara starts, the Marlins are going to have some premium to pay but it is not too great for this one. He is sharper at home, but his road splits are not anything to be worried about, especially with the Phillies struggling to start the season. The Philadelphia Phillies are the better team on paper, and their offense should get going eventually. However, we're getting a cheap price with one of the best pitchers in baseball in Alcantara, a guy who just threw a complete game shutout. You're not going to get Alcantara at prices like this often. Give me the fish. So the Miami Marlins money line is our full game side pick. The under is 4-0 in the Phillies' last four overall and 5-0 in their last five home games with the total set at 7-8.5. Philadelphia will struggle against Alcantara, who will go deep into the ball game again on Monday. The Phillies' offense averages barely over three runs and the Marlins are averaging 2.2 runs. Straham and Alcantara have both locked down to start the season, and that is going to be the case again in this game. I especially expect Alcantara is going to slow down the Phillies and this game is going to stay below the total. It wouldn't be shocking if this game ended 1-0. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.